We just got a new gear update in Prodigy, and I'm going to explain it in this video. It is a bit confusing, so I'm going to try to make it as simple as I can. As of right now, this update can only be seen in the shops. You cannot see it in your backpack just yet. I'm sure that will happen very soon. So let's go to the Firefly Forest shop and see what it shows us. So we now know that all hats have a heart bonus. Let's take a look at the Firefly hat. It tells us right here that this hat has a heart bonus of 9. And out to the side, it has a red negative 290 in parentheses. If the hat that you are wearing at the current moment has a bonus that is higher than what the bonus of the hat in the shop is, it will show up as a negative number. So right now, I am wearing the Titan Power Helm. And so, it has a higher bonus than the Firefly hat, so the Firefly hat shows a negative 290 out to the side. And from that number, we can deduce what the heart bonus of the Titan Power Helm is. That means that 290 plus 9 is 299. The Titan Power Helm has a heart bonus of 299. You can figure that out with any of the hats in the game, you just cannot see it in your backpack. Seeing it in your backpack will make it a lot easier, but we can't have that right now. Hopefully we will soon. As you can see with the mushroom cap, it has a heart bonus of 15, so it has a negative 284 out beside it. This is really cool because it adjusts every time with what you are wearing at the moment. You can go check this out in all of the shops in the game. And as we can see in the Titan shop, we were correct in saying that the Titan Power Helm has a heart bonus of 299. It has a plus zero beside it because it would not provide you with any more hearts. Now you may see a positive number out beside your hat. That is because if you, if the hat that you are wearing at the time has a lower bonus, then the hat in the shop will provide you with more hearts, so it shows how many more hearts it would provide you with. And that is just what the positive, negative, and neutral numbers mean. Outfits no longer provide a heart bonus. Instead, they provide a new bonus called a defense bonus. Everything that I mentioned about the hats and heart bonus applies to defense bonus as well. Defense also just means that you have defense against attacks, so they will do less damage on you. Now we can see similar numbers out to the side as what we saw with the hats, and that is because most of them have around the same depending on what they are. You can just look at all of the... Um, outfits and see in the shops only the outfits in the shops and see what their defense bonus is now all of the same rules will also apply to boots and wands so keep that in mind so boots also no longer have a heart bonus instead they have another new bonus called a speed bonus in Prodigy, speed basically determines the order of turns in a battle. The higher the speed, the, the more likely you are to go first in battle. You can see the same numbers out to the side, of course, since they are basically the same. But you can see right here that this is a positive 10. So this, the Emerald Elf booties have more uh, speed bonus than the Titan Brawler Greaves do. That's what I have on right now, the Titan Brawler Greaves, and these have 10 more speed bonus than those. Wands, of course, keep their power bonus, and of course all the same rules apply. The numbers out to the side determine the power bonus, the amount of power that you're going to do with your turn. Of course, that power number also has to do with what spell you're using and its power level, but this basically just determines the base power that you're going to do. 
Your account may have these arrows in the shops. They are green, red, and gray. The color just depends on the same thing that the negative or positive number does show off to the side. It just depends on what you're wearing at the moment and whether it has a higher or lower bonus than what you're looking at in the shop. This part at least is in beta testing, so you might not have it. Now I'm going to briefly touch on level locked gear. This is not a new concept, but it certainly increases the level on some of the gear items. For example, you cannot wear this hat until you reach level 80. So if you're not level 100, you might want to get to level 100. You might not be able to wear your favorite hats if you don't. So just be careful with what you wear. So what is the new best gear in Prodigy? Well, you're looking at it right now. Mira's hood, Mira's robes, and Mira's staff all provide the highest bonuses that you can get. They beat out the Celestial set by three. Now, since there are no Mira's boots, the Celestial boots are going to be the best boots. So this is what you will want to wear. It is the best in the game, and it is also obtainable still, so... You might want to go climb the Dark Tower if you haven't. Here's a few other things that were found in this update. So, the Magic Fungus, which we now know has been turned to Legendary, has suddenly been removed from the Firefly Forest shop. It used to be obtainable for 320 florins in this shop, along with the Ladybug Buddy. That one was also removed. This is may or may not be permanent we don't know yet now it has surprisingly been replaced by the fungoid this wand used to be only obtainable through summerfest and now it is in the firefly outfitters shop also available for 320 florins again we have no idea if this change is permanent or what the summerfest shop will look like when summerfest arrives but this is interesting to say the least. Now we have also gotten a new healing spell. This one is called Rejuvenate. This is the first healing spell that heals your whole entire team. As of right now, I'm pretty sure this can only be cast by the wizard and only by the toy parrot wand. So this has been the newest gear update, explained as simply as I can. What do you think about everything that I talked about in this video? Let me know in the comments.